Today we're looking at the basics of using the sine rule to calculate sides in non-right angled triangles. What we're going to do is we're going to work out the value for x. So that'll be this side here and x the side here. And we're going to round the answers to three significant figures. Now in the formula list, you'll have a formula for the sine rule. And that's where we're going to really start from, from there. Right, so what I'm going to do with the, the triangle here, I'm going to label it up. I'm going to label this A. I'll have B up at the top here, and I'll have C down here. Right, across from the, the capital A will be the small A. Across from the B will be a small B, and across from the C will be a small C. And they all correspond with uh, the, the letters that are in the formula list. Now in this triangle I can see I've got two angles, so if I was going to do something else, what I could do is I could work out this angle that's here, just quite simply by adding these two angles together, which would give me 82, and if I take 82 away from 180, that would give me 98 degrees there. So that's giving me a, a bigger picture of uh, information in the triangle. Right, so I'm going to use the sign rule here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I know that I need to use A to work that one out, so I'm going to use this one here. So I've got the angle, okay, I need to work out that side there, and the rest of the things I've got, I've got sine of B, I could work that, I could work out the sine of C, and I know the value for C. So I'm not going to use B in this part of the calculation, and from there I'm going to go ahead and use A and C, because I've got a, a pairing of the angle and the side across from it, and that helps me to, to use the, the sign rule here. Okay, I'm going to put my values in. For A, I'm going to put in X, all over sine A, so that's 38, so it'll be a sine of 38 degrees, okay? That's going to be equal to, I'm going to use C, which is 12, all over sine of 44 degrees. From here, I'm going to multiply across the way with the, the sine 38, so it's going to really just move it over the equal sign up to here. So if I'm dividing on this side, I'll be multiplying when I take it over. So that's going to be equal to 12 times sine 38 degrees, and that's all going to be over sine 44 degrees. Okay. From there, I'm going to enter that into my calculator, and I should have my answer for the length of the side BC. That's there. Right, so into the calculator. Let's go for, right, so we'll go for 12 times sine of 38 degrees. Close that bracket. I'm going to press equals, and then what I'll do is I'll divide by what's on the, the bottom. So that's sine 44 degrees. Close that. That should give me 10.6. So let's go for it. So it's going to be 10.635, I'll be 35 there as well, okay? And some other characters. So if I'm going to round this to three significant figures, what I'll do is I'll be thinking about one, two, three. So I'm going to cut my number here. So that's going to be 10 point, the three will leave the six as it is, 10.6. Working in centimetres, and that was to three significant figures. Okay, another way that I could have entered it into the calculator, if you use the fraction button, I could press that button there, as long as I'm in math mode in the calculator. And what I'll do is I'll just put it straight in the way that it's seen here. So I've got 12 times, and it's going to be sine 38. I'll then use the cursor button to move down to the, the bottom of the fraction, and that's going to be sine 44 on the bottom. So there I've got it exactly in the calculator the way it is in my working. If I press equals, I should come out with the same answer as I have here. So the same answer. So depending on which way you use your calculator, uh, use it. That way. Okay, so, so there we go. We've got the first answer here. So that's going to be 10.6 centimetres to three significant figures. Now in question B here, I've got the triangle labelled up, ABC. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go to my formula list again, and I'm going to be ticking the items that I've got. So let's see. So I know that I've got uh, the angle for B, okay? And it's B that I'm going to have to work out. So this would be a small B over this side. That'll be a small A over that side. And a small C over that side. So I'm going to be trying to work out the size of this side here. Okay, so that's B. And the other things that I know, I know C, which is 23. And I know the sine of 54. I can work that out in my calculator. 
Also, similar to the, the question that I had up above, I could work out this angle here, okay, for A, so I'd be able to tick that as well. Right, so I don't have enough information here to use, so I'm going to use B and C. So I'm not going to use A in this case. Right, so let's substitute our values in. So I've got X for B, so X is all over sine of B, which is 67 degrees. It's equal to C, which is 23, over the sine of 54 degrees. Okay. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply, uh, but I'm just going to cross multiply with the, the sine uh, 67. And what that will do, that will bring it up to the top over here. So that's going to be 23 times sine 67 degrees all over sine 54 degrees. From there, just enter it into the calculator. So let's go for it. So 23 times sine of 67, close that bracket, press equals, divide by the denominator, which will be sine 54 degrees. I get an answer of 26.16955, and if I'm rounding that number to three significant figures, I get an answer of 26. 0.2 centimetres, that's to three significant figures, oops, three significant figures. Okay, so, so all this is is just the, the basics of using the, the sign rule. What we'll do a bit further on, we'll be using, um, we'll be looking at some extension questions where we have to work out which rule we use, whether it's the sign rule or the cosine rule, and a combination of each. So we'll have a look at that a bit later, so that'll be an extension work. Hope this has helped just with the basics of using the sign rule.